हमारे पास इस वक्त दो प्रोक्लमेशन हैं गवर्नर ऑफ वर्जीनिया और गवर्नर ऑफ मैलन के साथ तो राहिला साहबा आप थोड़ी सी मेरी हेल्प करेंगे जी मैं करती हूँ उसको बिल्कुल क्योंकि मैं 20 सालों से वर्जीनिया में रह रहा हूँ उससे पहले मैं वर्जीनिया का प्रोक्लमेशन पढ़ूंगा सो द गवर्नर प्रोक्लेम्स थर्टी सेकेंड एनुअल पाकिस्तान फेस्टिवल दिस सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान इंडिपेंडेंस promotes the guiding principles of the creation of pakistan unity faith and discipline the pakistan festival has been recognized in the united states house of representatives as one of the largest annual events celebrating pakistan's independence zabardasti <laughs> For me, I'm focused on their kids' success and their safety and security. I'm also here today to speak on behalf of Senator Tim Kaine. Senator Kaine is running in his election for re-election this November 6th. It is critical that we get our community out there to vote for him. Senator Kaine has been a firewall for Virginia. He has defended the state and our community for our civil rights, our health care, and education. He is the one standing up to bad policies that are coming out of Washington, D.C. We need Senator Kaine to be re-elected. Re so I appreciate you running, uh, getting out to vote and voting for Senator Kaine and all of our great congressional candidates who will also be on the ballot with me. Senator Jennifer Wexton is running, Jerry Connolly, and Vanjie Williams. I want to thank you all, and uh, I'm going to take the, um, the next. I'm going um, to introduce... The representative from Senator Mark Warner's office, Ann Pham. Come on up, Ann. She's got a statement from Senator District. Representative Barbara Comstock. <laughs> Salam alaikum. It's wonderful to join you once again and to be able to visit with you at this wonderful festival that we come to every year. I want you to know we have a booth back there that you can come and visit with our folks. But also I wanted to let you know some of the important things that we have worked on with the community this year. First, I really appreciate working with the community to get our anti-hate crimes resolution passed this year. I know this was a priority because we've seen increased hate crimes since for about the past five, six years, and we want to make sure the Justice Department is keeping track of that better and we are stopping that and we have a strong con condemnation of that. Secondly, we have been working on the Rohingya crisis. As you know, this is a genocide, and it needs to be called a genocide. And our press needs to be covering this more. We had um, sanctions that the Treasury Department put on because of this, this genocide and the ethnic cleansing, but we need to do more. I have sponsored the legislation to uh, take stronger action on this front and I will continue to work with the community to stop this just terrible human rights crisis that is a genocide. So we can, thank you, we need to work on this together and thank you for the community and continue to work with us to highlight these atrocities and, and, and do everything we can to help them stop. Uh, lastly, I just wanted to highlight um, the, the, the tax issues that we're working on, we appreciate being able to work with the community on cutting and giving tax relief to our small businesses, which I know includes so many from the Pakistani community, as well as getting, as, as I look out and I see all those children here, we were able to increase the child tax credit to $2,000 a child and also to make it refundable so it applies to all families, particularly low-income families, but it also applies to families all the way up the income scale. So we working hard, fighting for your families, fighting to keep our communities safer, fighting against hate crimes, and fighting on the international front against these humanitarian crises. So thank you for the opportunity to work together with you and, and ha enjoy this wonderful festival. Thank you. I'll go ahead and introduce my former colleague from the State House, um, Mark Keen, who represents the. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Congresswoman Comstock. Thanks to all of our officials from our federal, state, and local governments who represent.
electing Tim Kaine to the Senate, by electing me, Jennifer Wexton, to Congress, and by electing all the Democrats in November. You are, we are here because you are powerful, and people are going to come here and say pretty things to you. But I ask you to think about what are they doing to change the tone in Washington when they leave here today. Remember November 6th, heard from some really great candidates over here. I'm going to ask um, a couple of Pakistani Americans, our youth, uh, to come and uh, come to the stage over here. The person I'm going to introduce is Darakshan Raja. So I came to know Darakshan about a year ago um, as I was at an organization that Darakshan essentially is running, the Justice for Muslims Collective. It's a powerful organization. Darakshan has been doing it for a very long time.